the, the big thing for me is this this is a moment in time like in, in the city's history and I think even for their family when they when they go back home and and that's the role of the media in this is uh, is, is telling this story you know and those, when those kids grow up and they google their dad's name and stuff the fact that you guys are here capturing this moment in time really means a lot uh, uh, certainly to the police department but I also to the family I, uh, this is it uh, the moments arrived for the Edmonton Police Service in the city of Edmonton um, the regimental funeral is a part of a uh, tradition with a, a, in a line of duty death and uh, I think for most of the members gathered here this morning I think um, you know, there, there is a sense of camaraderie uh, and community here, but it's uh, when we start to walk down Jasper Avenue, I think it's going to hit the officers, uh, all of us and the community, pretty hard. Um, that's going to be a, a long 45-minute you know, walk, three kilometers, where uh, a lot of officers, I, I, unfortunately, I've been in a regimental procession before, and uh, you do a lot of reflecting. Uh, we'll be thinking about the Woodall family, We'll be thinking about the other officers on the call that evening. We'll be thinking about um, past experiences and, and close calls. And uh, it, um, I think for I think, think for the membership in the community, uh, there's a tragedy up front with something like this. The grieving process is unique to uh, to everybody uh, and their own experience and how they grieve. But it uh, this is the moment right now, uh, or shortly, when uh, it becomes very real. And uh, I think the, the strength that people have had up to this point in, in dealing with it, um, it it'll, it'll all come out uh, in honour of Daniel and, uh, and, and his service to, to the city. And uh, um, I will be forever grateful, I can say that on behalf of everybody involved here, for what, uh, what the community's done and, uh, and far and wide. I mean, we've, got, uh, the, we've had support from... Uh, uh, international and uh, even here today amongst our ranks is uh, police officers from you know the UK Europe uh, all over North America and um, this is a moment in time and it's a tra tragic moment that brings us here but um, but the regimental funeral is a part of that process the nature of what had happened you know the, and most of those details are out uh, through the community through the media and um, I think it's the it's the way in which um, you know, everybody is preconditioned to have, uh, you know, their stories end with a happy ending. And uh, even in police work, I mean, we do deal with tragic situations, you know, very often. Um, but, you know, we, we become the storytellers of sometimes unfortunate situations for the community. Uh, but on this one, uh, the, the, the sense of tragedy and shock of what had happened is that complete, uh, just complete shock. And that's, that's what happened here is... Uh, you know, uh, the officer and his partners that day went up to make a difference, and unfortunately, uh, for Constable Woodall, uh, it cost him his life, and it was—it's a, it's a tragic moment.